I went to Newberry Comics in Garden City, Long Island today. Let's check it out. Think you're walking right in? There's a pandemic. There's a line outside that you didn't see. No! Oh! Man, I didn't even. I gotta stop paying attention. All right, we have uh, it's like a little chia pet action over here, right? Chia pet in the window, and then we have a Richard Simmons chia pet. Okay, it's uh, interesting. Wow. Let's see what else we got here. We got uh, a little Star Wars, Baby Yoda. Got Lord of the Rings down here. All right, got some cool stuff. All right, so we got to wait for the store to clear out so that we can go in. Looks like they got a lot of Funko Pop in here. As soon as we see uh, some people come out, we got a little uh, Beatles action. All right, I see some people coming out now. Looks like we're going to be able to get to go in now. Here they come. There's room. We can go in. He's waving us in. All right, I turned the sound off inside the store. Because they were playing Wu-Tang. I don't want to get a copyright strike. So I'll just play uh, this uh, generic music here. Oh, Attack on Titan. Look at all this. Uh, they got some uh, manga right in front of you right here. My Hero Academia. Attack on Titan. And a ton of Funko Pop on the right here. They got aisles and aisles of it. Wow. Stuff's really popular. Uh, I've never been in uh, one of these stores. But this is a chain. It's from Newberry Street in Boston. Uh, I think it was founded in 1978 by MIT. So some kind of a genius nerd store or something. I don't know what's going on here. But I think there's like 30 stores. There was a lot of music and they're only in New England. So New Hampshire and uh, Rhode Island and Maine, Connecticut and Massachusetts. But now they are spreading out to uh, New York. They got one in Westchester. And this is Roosevelt Field Mall in Garden City, Long Island. This is in Nassau County. You guys know this? So Roosevelt Field Mall. There's some graphic novels here. So it looks like a uh, kind of a collectible store. But it's very music-based. A lot of punk stuff and uh, new wave, maybe some gothic stuff, emo. And they have vinyl, which is kind of cool. They got a bunch of t-shirts here, memorabilia. They got some books. So even though it's Newberry Comics, I guess that's how it started out. But then it became like a pop culture store. Let's check out these posters over here. Looks like some, they might have some cool posters here. Oh, The Sandlot. It's a cool movie. All right. Stranger Things, man. Remember all the hype on that? Year one, then the second season, the hype went down a little bit. And then the third season, I never hear about it anymore. And then we had, uh... They had a bunch of this stuff on... Right as soon as you walk in, all the, uh... Manga and all the uh, Funko Pop. They do have some comics. Uh, go to that last, I guess, right? Here's a classic Star Wars poster. We'll go check out the graphic novels in a second and the comics. Let's do this. All right, some cool posters in here. I was going to say, oh, it. I was going to say, this reminds me of a Hot Topic a little bit. Um. I don't know if you guys have a Hot Topic. It's mostly in the mall. It's like a mall store Hot Topic. I didn't know what it was, Hot Topic, until like three months ago. I was in the Staten Island Mall, 
and I walked by one, and it hit. It just hit me that this is that famous place that everybody talks about, Hot Topic. And I went in a Hot Topic for the first time. Let's do this. Got some backpacks back there. Oh my God! Who the hell cares? All right, so this is a chain. I think it's like thirty of them. And now this one's been in Long Island, I think, like four years. <laughs> so, um, I think there's a hot topic in this mall. I think when I came in, because I got when I came in at first, I got lost. No! I couldn't find this store. Uh, they got some more shirts here. They got a ton of socks too. I don't know what's up with socks, but there's a lot of socks in here. Oh my God! Who the hell cares? All right, little Yankees PJs. Got some cool shirts. Got a little, uh, some more vinyl. Good click vinyl. It's like some Bowie vinyl. Some Black Sabbath t-shirts. Little Nine Inch Nails, Nirvana. All right, this is when I first came in the mall. When I couldn't find the store. I think there was a hot... Yeah, there was. There's a hot topic right here. There's a hot topic in this mall. Competition, because it's kind of close. But they don't have comics there. So Newberry has the better, cooler, uh, name. So I had to go to a map inside the mall because I couldn't find this place. No! And it was under toys and collectibles. This, uh... uh Roosevelt Field Mall in Garden City. It's really nice. It's a really nice looking mall. Very handsome. Look at this. Look at that atrium with all the light pouring in. It's really well done, right? Nicely built. And the Newberry Comics is in a good location. You get all this uh, foot traffic. I think it's by a, a little food court upstairs. Is like a dining area or something. All right, let's go back in here to the. Uh, we're back in the store. Let's go to the books. We got some graphic novels here and some trade paperbacks. Uh, the usual suspects are over here, right? There's always a uh, Watchman and a uh, Dark Knight Returns. Here's the Die trade paperback. Uh, trade paperback just came out. I just picked up number one in a... Uh, I was in a comic book store, and they, the guy had number one there for like 20 bucks, and they grabbed it. The uh, floppy, the single issue. Here's Paper Girls. All right. I think there's a show coming out soon, right? Oh, was it on Amazon? Something? Star Wars? There's Watchmen. Every good graphic novel section has the Watchmen uh, thing in there. All right, we got some more shirts. All right, here's the single issues here. Um, we have a delay. This is, uh, February 16th, 2021. There was a major snowstorm. And I think a lot of the books are delayed, the DC and the Marvel. The new issue's coming out today. It's, uh, what's today? Tuesday or Wednesday? So there was a delay in a lot of the issues coming out. But they do have a nice, healthy selection here. They got, uh, all these new books, uh, available here. Maybe we should do a little hunting, see if they got any Star Wars or anything, right? It's kind of a hot book right now. They got Batman Beyond... Batman the Adventure Continues. They got alienated back there in the corner. They got they got a lot of indies here. It's very curated. They have good taste. They got a lot of indies here. A lot of hot indies. Um Some King of Black Action. Planet of the Symbiotes. Cable. So it's all new uh new single issues. Let's check out the, uh... Oh, there's Headless. I got one and two of Headless. I don't have three and four. It's on the West. Scout Comics is like, uh... A miniseries. <clears throat> they don't have any back issues. They don't have a back issue section at all. And they have no slab books. And they have no wall. This is the uh, Batman Black and White. I heard uh, issue two is really good. I heard book two. A lot of good writers in it. And let's check out that Star Wars section down here. In the back there. Because uh, the High Republic just came out. So I was going to dig in here and see if they had it. I don't know. See if you get lucky in a big store like this. Maybe they have uh, some extra issues or anything. But um, actually, I just came back from the uh, register. And the guy, the kind of store that Newberry Comics is, I guess. He says, uh, High Republic, when it came out a couple weeks ago, Star Wars, there was like five or six people waiting outside when the store opened. 
and they came in and cleared them out. Like the people were grabbing like 10 copies each. Uh, oh, they got a nice healthy selection of a lot of indies, a lot of Marvel, DC. I'm going to grab this book here, Transference, because it looks like a Newberry Comics uh, variant cover exclusive to the store. So I'm going to grab that. Because you can only get it here, right? So I might as well uh, grab it. So a nice healthy stack of new issues. And then we're back to the Funko Pop in the beginning. They got Valiant. It was an XO Man of War on the bottom there. But yeah, not really any back issues and no real slabs or anything. And no wall. Alright, pretty cool. Let's see all the socks they got in here. What's with socks? Nobody's buying socks? Wow! Look, more socks. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Alright, let me know if this is your local comic store, if this is your local LCS, if I missed anything. <laughs> we got some... We got a nice, healthy uh, manga section over here, though. Dragon Ball Z stuff, and, uh... Any Berserk? Let's see if Berserk is in here. Alright, more t-shirts in the front. I guess the bigger selling shirts are in the front here. And they get record players and vinyl. I haven't listened to vinyl forever. I have a bunch of records. I haven't listened to them for a long time. Some cool pins. All right, so it's a nice, decent-sized store. I mean, their overhead must be crazy in these malls, and it's a chain, so I guess they have to diversify. They can't just sell comics. I guess it started out as Newberry Comics, and they spread out to other collectibles, because you got to diversify in this day and age. Not a bad move, right, for a big business that has, like, 30 stores. All right, maybe I'll also uh, maybe we'll go back to the graphic novels over here. Maybe we'll go check out the mall. It's a nice looking health. Uh, should I get this paper girls? Trade paperback. I have like uh, one to ten. The uh, floppies. There's that uh, Jason Aaron Star Wars. I have this too. All right, seems like they have a nice, uh, a nice fan base too. It's been crowded the store the whole time I was here. <laughs> All right, I grabbed two books. I grabbed that uh, exclusive book to the store. What was that Transference? And I grabbed another indie book. Uh, this is a really nice, handsome mall, huh? It's really good looking. That atrium on the top with a light pouring in, really well done. Uh, I've never been out here. Two floors. Um, so let me know if this is your local LCS. You know what I missed? Uh, you got any tips uh, for the store? That was it. Grab two books out of there. They didn't really have a lot of books. It was more like a Hot Topic kind of store with records and pop culture, but not a ton of uh, comic books. They had some new issues, though. They had more indies than uh, DC and Marvel and stuff like that. All right, so I happened to be in the area today, and I stopped by. We checked out Newberry Comics. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I think they got a great spot here. All right, look at this location. Look at all this foot traffic. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything or what you want to see in the future. And check out my other videos. I will talk to you guys soon.